Hey guys, Deeper here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So, as I promised earlier, we'll be releasing two Starfield videos a day. It will be one in the morning, one in the evening. The one in the morning will be a continuation of our level 49 character here, mainly focusing on exploration and getting the new weapons and testing our new weapons. So, we have quite the collection happening. And today we'll be going through the Skipshot Advanced All Earth Hunting Rifle and Skipshot Modified Advanced Mailstorm. As I said, the collection is growing. We've been getting some good drops. So we're going to continue finding new facilities and discovering new nutty combinations of the weapons. And then in the night, we have the uh, No Death Run, which I've started yesterday with the guide. I think we're kind of level 9. So for that one, we're going to be doing No Death Run, very hard difficulty, no vendors, no meds. Uh, sorry, well, I mean no meds, no buying meds, no buying ammo. And then... Each episode, I'll ask you guys to put forward one community challenge for me. So you can say pistols only, or you can say no meds at all, or whatever the case may be. It will vary every episode, and I'll take it from the comment section. Keep in mind, though, you can only suggest what is within my power. So if I don't have any pistols on the character, you can't say I'll do a pistol only run. So pay attention with what we have, and then we'll go from there. Anyways, so for the purpose of today's video, let's drop down on... Someone say it's pronounced Huggins. Huggins? Huggins? Huggins. Let's call it Huggins from now on. Not Huggins. Huggins. <laughs> Let's go on <laughs> Huggins. And we got ourselves a facility right out of the gate there. Nice and flat surface. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Facility there. And a facility there. Okay, so that can be one and that can be B2, given that we're not running any cornered, exterminator, disassembler, so we were not running any cornered, we can heal so I don't have to give you guys a heart attack or anxiety, so med packs, 21 med packs, B0. So those that are <laughs> returning to the channel and you know being a community member, you know my playstyle by now. And those who are just joining us, I'm probably giving them anxiety running on low health with cornered weapons all the time. <laughs> so I do apologize for that. But it's a high risk, high reward playstyle and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And it's just how I play, very aggressive, always on the edge. And I find that very, very enjoying. And uh, based on my comment section, a lot of you guys seem to be adopting that playstyle as well, and you find it heaps fun, and I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, looks like we're running iron sights here. Iron sights are not too bad. Um, okay, this is a, not a bad facility here. There are some robots to deal with inside. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's just deal with these guys one at a time as they come. Huge fan of this old earth um, sniper rifles. <laughs> oh, a bit of smack talking there. I like it. I like it. I like it. Smack talk. Can I? Uh, can I? Thank you. Just uh, got stuck there. Far out. This maelstrom is an absolute beast. Holy moly! Absolute shreds. Very likely run out of ammo, but that's fine. Whew. What a drop, guys. Furious Wakazashi. Oh, amazing. Amazing drop. Just what I always wanted. This has disassembler on it, so it's gonna be munching robots and turrets alike, so. Ooh, is that a grenade launch that I just witnessed? There it is. It wouldn't have been able to get it through that. Doink. Doink, doink, doink. Also, please uh, let me know your feedback on the guide that I did yesterday. Did you find that helpful or did you find it not helpful at all? It kind of gives me an indicator of which videos I should make in the future and which videos should I, should I not make in the future. You know, ha have your say. You guys are faithful supporters of this channel. 
So your input is very, very appreciated, as always. Alrighty. Uh, seems like this maelstorm is exceeding my expectations. I did not expect it to be this good. Wait, what? Houdini! <laughs> Houdini! <laughs> Man's got a displacement device from Warhammer. He just teleports. Instigating modified lawgiver. Houdini just, like, disappeared. Uh, let's head on inside and see what we find. Alright, so, as promised, now that we've maxed out isolation here, we are going to be going for science and we want the weapon engineering. Uh, uh, um, so, what do we want here, guys? Medicine. I don't mind that. We'll get one point there. Go there. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with these two for now, and then we need four points to get to engineering. That's fine. We'll get there eventually. So we got a lot of awesome weapons. We just cannot mod them, fortunately. Doink. I feel like our loadout is too strong for this facility, guys. Space of Punk. Come on, buddy. Open the door. Don't be shy now. Boink. Peek. Peek. Good, sir. Peek. Very, very uncharacteristic. Those shots must be like catching on invisible walls because uh, there's no way I shot as bad. Yeah, there's just, just no way I missed that many shots. And the earth becomes my prime. Okay, take that. Like that, like that. Just a little jump here. Why did I think there was a weapon right there? Alright, now. What we do is. We hit him with that 3000 IQ a robot. Update frame foe, recalibrate, activate, and just watch pandemonium unfold. We're gonna make the most out of that. Yeah, go straight down. Let's smack these guys a little. Okay. Use the chaos to get close. That robot is extremely annoying. Despite having this assembler, it is still not enough, it seems. Uh, so we got a nice space of myth there. I see a lot of, like, NPCs glitching out lately. I don't know why. I don't know why. They just glitch out. Ooh, nice grenade. She cooked that one to perfection, didn't she? Doink, doink, doink. Okay, we don't want to overdo it now. See, why do they glitch like that? I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. It makes my life ten times easier. You stay and wait there for me, sweetheart. What do we have here? Ah, trash. 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 Come on, can, can we... Can we have an exemplis or anything? Look, an old earth pistol. Ooh, old earth shotgun, but what, what is it? What does it have? Cornered advanced. 
Won't it advance? We'll take it. We'll take it. We um see how much we can mod on it. I definitely want an old earth pistol and an old earth shotgun, like a good one. So Cornet suits me just fine. I will keep going and then eventually we'll figure out how much we can mod. But yeah, Cornet definitely works for me. Ah, <clears throat> oh, let's drop it right there. I think out of all the shotguns, the old earth ones, perhaps the most fun. It's not too trash like the pacifier. It's just it's just a good gun. So we got another facility there. And then another facility that way. Alright, let's go check what's over there and then we'll move from there. As always, remind me to stock up on some amps. I keep forgetting they're so useful when it comes to traveling. <clears throat> you should really add like jetpacks in the game so you can travel, or proper jetpacks. Ooh, collapse mine. We'll go and check it out, you never know. After we found an inflictor there. The world's your oyster. I need to go past trade authority, sell all the crap that we've been holding, and also get a lot of materials. So we can start putting long barrels and scopes on the weapons. Because they're like the key things. And then you want your high powered and That is not an abandoned mine. Ladies and gentlemen, I was incorrect. Looks like a civilian outpost. So that always just seems like they're balancing out. It's like one civilian outpost, one enemy facility usually. At least that's just my theory from experience. What is this one? Ooh, what? Wait, what? Friendlies? Or non friendlies. Did I just see someone run here or am I imagining stuff? I'm not imagining stuff, right? There was a person here. Yeah, right there. Friendly, colonist. It's not. It's not stealing. Wait, what? What is this place? Does anyone know what this place is? They got a bed. Wow. Okay. It'll be good if we can get some more lore on this. It's so creepy the way that the metal just creaks. Alright, interesting. Well, this is something I haven't seen before either. Hey guys, I reckon they just snuck this update scene. They it's just, it's just... How is there so much new stuff? I don't understand. Alright, we'll continue exploring. Okay, what do we have that way? Civilian, most definitely, and that way. As per usual, we're just going to explore the, the outpost there. Yeah, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. I 
I can, guys, I cannot wait for DLC and I cannot wait for um, the survival mode. It's just, a game needs refreshing and I think that's going to be like a breath of fresh air. You know, stick a couple of new ships in there, some new ship mods, some new ship encounters, some new space encounters, make ship a more... Um, a more vital part of the gameplay, you know? Maybe allow us to, to fly on top of planets. Something. Like, in the atmosphere, right? Just something. What do we have here, guys? Ooh, I may have been wrong here, ladies and gentlemen. I may have been... What the heck is this? This is like Fort Knox. Wait, what? So everyone's gone. Outpost is inside. Forty-five. What the heck? Before you go assuming anything, I didn't hurt nobody and I found this place like... Uh... Nobody's ever asked me... What the hell? Yes. Yeah. You... Shoo! Go away! Wait, what? Okay. Okay. My friend will be. Wow, okay. We take it. You, this is my place. Oh my lord. Well you wanna punch on or what? <laughs> and she's got a grenade launcher, it's not gonna bode well if she fires in here. Anything else to this place? So, what do you guys reckon? Spaces came here and they just cleared this place out, or? Uh, we'll, we'll let it be. I've never, ever, ever, ever. I have I seen this place? Yeah, this is this is bloody insane. Okay. What do we have next? That place was creepy. That was a really, really creepy place. For a while I thought it was like a quest there for a second. Like, what? Any points of interest here? Nothing. Remove. Okay, what do we have down here guys? I mean, I can assume what that is, but I need to go and check it out. But I just want to see what's down this way first. That's an abandoned weapon hanger. We can always go and clear that out. Let's just quickly go and check what's down this way. Surprise seems to be the theme of the day so far. Wow, this planet is absolutely insane. So for those who are wondering where we are, it's uh, Hoggins 1. <laughs> Apparently it's pronounced Hoggins. So. 
Huygens it is. Is it Huygens or Huygens? Or Huygens. It is my in my my humble opinion, it is the best sis, uh, planet oh sorry system in Starfield. Best ships, best drops. What more could you ask for? Also I hope they they make those outposts like a part of the game as well, because so far like I've not touched outposts, I'll be honest with you guys. I've barely scratched the surface. I touched outposts for like a little bit when the game came out. And then everyone was doing the glitches, and I'm like, if I do the glitch, I'm just gonna get over the game straight away. I wanted to go explore it without... Like, there's some exploits I'm okay with, like the flight simulator, and there's some where I draw the line, I'm like, no, that's, that's too much. Alright, let's find out what this is, first and foremost, here. Looks like one of those robot facilities. Radio tower. I'm not a big fan of strangers on my Yep. See you later. Is there some cable hanging out here inside the rock? Interesting. Oh, this guy's just chilling here. Nonetheless, we move. There's a big ass crater there. Let's go and check out the NPC facility there and then we should make our way back to the hangar. I wouldn't mind seeing some like rocket launchers, some big explosions. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, more sniper rifle variety, more assault rifle variety. I'm content with the pistols. I just hope they make the all the remaining one advanced that you cannot get advanced anymore. But uh, new assault rifles, like something like like you know like the Arc Welder, but an assault rifle, and just a, a bit more viable or. Um, it's just there's different ways to approach it, I think. They should like take a, a page out of Borderlands or something and just make some nutty crack combinations. Alright, let's just go and check what's down there. Is it anything landed here? Let's just go up there and have a quick look. Okay, just slide it to the right. Wait, why are... Did these guys get attacked or something? And I can't see anything. Okay. Yep. Seems like someone clapped them. I guess we can just assume it was like pirates or spaces. I feel like pirates 
are a bit nicer than spaces. Spaces will just attack anyone, at least pirates will um, give you a warning. Alright guys, let's go back to the ship. Where is our ship? Yeah, okay. And we go straight to the abandoned hangar, get ourselves something nice, and we call it a day. I'm happy with the exploration that we've done, so... Let's go and see if we can get some nicer weapons. It's been a while since we bumped into a Varun facility, it's just so rare, so bloody rare. I think I would have done like 2 or 3 so far, max, on this character, and we're like level 50. Alright, so what's the best way to approach this? Do we want to go and face for all of them or do we want to be selective and go straight for the boss? Hmm, decisions. Decisions. How high can I jump with my skip pack? High enough, it seems cool. Now let's see what we have here. Ecliptics. The worst loot loot givers in the game. Doink doink. Snipey snipey. Almost. We missed that second shot, unfortunately. Decent mag size on this weapon. You can snipe for a long time. Where from? Hey, that's a robot. That's definitely a robot that just hit me. Question is where from? Get out of here. You are not worthy, trash can. Wait, still alive? Okay guys, how are we traveling? There's two more. Doink. Doink. Cute little double headshot there. Get out of here. Thank you very much. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, what I would like to put here is what I would like to do is So I got a long barrel short scope That's it That is all I needed Oh uh, remind me to keep using med packs for um the social skill because we're going trying to get to that weapon um Weapon perks up the, the science thing so we can modify it. Varun Inflictor. That's an interesting one. I've never found one of these in the case, even though it's just a standard one. Good to know there's a chance they drop there, albeit a very low chance. This will be a heavy weapon here. It, wait, what? Two weapons in there? That is also the first time I've seen two weapons in there. Interesting. Very interesting. But why is the game crapping itself? Berserker Advanced Uber Eagle will take it. Why is the game crapping itself? Guys, there's, there's something going on with this facility. Something's not right here. Something is definitely awry. Look at that. Frames are dropping like crazy. Seems like we got two bosses. And one of them's got a grenade launcher. 
awesome accuracy there, bud. And the clip, yeah, something's off because this guy never, never pushes out of the facility. Something is definitely awry here. Something is definitely not right. Rocket man, oh, there's two of them there. So, just patience. That's all we need. Patience is all we need. Doink. Doink, thank you very much. Sounds like someone's underneath us here. Yeah, getting bad frame drops. I'm running a 3090 Ti or whatever it is. It's just, just this game should not be running this bad. Wait, the same guy was like another one. Okay, every man. I need open sky, otherwise it's gonna. Yeah, otherwise that's gonna that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna just gonna wall bang me. And we can't have that happen, now, can we? Every man and his dog has got a rocket launcher in this facility. A grenade launcher. Sorry. <laughs> so we have one commandant, one sixty-two elite, which are prime for safe scamming. People say, oh, you know, the the loot is different on console versus PC. It's not. I have some really crappy runs and some. I got some really good runs. We just had good form lately, getting. Scope makes a big difference. Makes a huge difference. All right, let's go and see what we got here. Nope. There once was a ship that put to sea. Go yeah, for me, friend. Corrosive advanced urban eagle. Exterminator corrosive. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. What do we have here, guys? Ah, uh, can you leave me alone, please? Bashing advanced Nova light, absolutely not. Okay, a bit tilt to the right here. Doink, where are you, where are you going, man? Staggering. Yeah, whatever. We'll We'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, let's go and see what we got out upstairs, and then we shall call it a day. Otherwise, this video is gonna go for thirty minutes, and a lot of guys have been vocal about the long, the length of the videos. Actually, you know what? Let me know in the comment section. Do you prefer the long format or like seven to eight minute videos? I'm really, really curious to know. So. This was a good run, uh, in terms of weapons, we did good. What do we get? So we got the Staggering Advanced Kadama, which I'm happy about. We got the Corrosive Advanced Urban Eagles, this is the second one. And then we also got the Cornet Advanced All That Shotgun. So for the next video, I think we'll try and uh, modify this a little bit and run it. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time, um, as always. You, know, you guys have been absolutely incredible really 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 proud of our community and yeah hope to catch you next video peace